It's the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour, the biggest and richest bass tournament in the state. We're here at Fortune Bay Resort Casino on Lake Vermilion, where event number two is about to begin. Join your host, Chip Lear, as he takes you fishing with Minnesota's best bass anglers as they compete for $10,000 on the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. The Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour is sponsored by Aqua Innovations and Fox Sports. Tournament anglers realize how important it is to keep their catch alive. They use the Magnum Livewell Oxygenator by Aqua Innovations to maintain a desired oxygen level in the boat's live well. The Magnum not only keeps game fish alive until their release, you can use your live well as a highly oxygenated bait well too. Aqua Innovations, we put the O in H2O. www.aquainnovationsinc.com Enjoy the great outdoors every Saturday and Sunday on Fox Sports Net. One of the most important things you can do for your next boat outing is to buy a good map. It'll do three things for you. First, it'll help keep you safe by keeping you off the rocks and getting you where you're going to go. Second, it's going to help you with any lake-specific regulations like speed limits or size limits of fish. Third, it's going to help you find the fish so you can have a safe and enjoyable day on the water. Lake Vermilion is um, a nice clear water lake, lots of rocks, a few weeds, a great, great fishery, I think. Uh, it's got huge smallmouth and largemouth. There's so much water. I mean, there's so many lures you can use. There's so many different clarities of water. There's weeds in part, there's mud in part, and there's rocks all over the place. You lose a lot of lures on the rocks, <laughs> and it hurts the boat sometimes, but it's, it's fun. There's, you can try anything anywhere. For some of us, it's kind of tough to fish. There's a lot of guys who grew up up here and have fished it often and know it well, but for a lot of us, we got to try to find these bays with a lot of weeds in it. The challenge is to catch the, to catch the fish on the bad weather days. That's the challenge. You can catch some really nice bass up here. The last two years I went for largemouth. I seem to get my limits, but smallmouth always win this tournament. It's a great lake for both fish. Hopefully this year largemouth will win it. Here we are at Lake Vermilion, one of the pro anglers favorite stops on the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. Today we're fortunate enough to be talking with Ted Capra, legendary angler Ted Capra. Ted's been around the bass fishing scene all over North America for as long as we can remember and Ted is a member of our Minnesota Fishing Hall of Fame. And Ted, we're here to ask you, why the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour? Why, why are you still fishing tournaments? Well, you know, Chip, to be honest with you, it's, it, it's, it's an addiction. It really is an addiction. And, and what I like to do, I, I'm, you know, I should have probably retired a long time ago, but I get, I get a big kick out of beating guys that are 25 years old. It's just, that's where I, I just, it just kind of turns me on, and, and, and it don't always happen, but when it does, it's good, you know. Every tournament's a little bit different, but you go into each one trying to come out of it with what? Are you trying to just heighten your abilities as an angler? To be honest with you, it's a never-ending learning experience. And now we're in a real difficult situation here because the green fish are biting and the brown fish are not biting so good. You've fished in circuits all over North America. You've competed in some of the largest bass events in North America, and you're fishing the entire Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. What is it about this circuit that uh, has drawn your interest? Well, it, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting circuit because it covers all of Minnesota. The caliber of fishermen or fisher person that is in Minnesota is unbelievable. The competition is really strong in Minnesota, and it has been since tournaments started, really. Thanks, Ted. And one of these anglers is going to become the 2003 Frankie's Marine Angler of the Year on the Minnesota Pro Am Bass Tour. Let's check out the standings and see where they're sitting. What a beautiful morning. It's turned out all right. 
Weather's been pretty decent now, stability-wise, the last couple of days, so I think the guys are going to have a pretty good time catching fish right away. we got a short day. We go from 6 to 2, and uh, I think the fish will be going pretty good. It's cool because everybody's on the same page here. Maybe this morning they'll turn on and we'll see what happens. I just love the, the thrill of going out and the adrenaline rush to get going and, and catching fish. And it's really not me against the guys, it's me against the fish. And that's the way I look at it. Only I can, can beat myself, so I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it! So. big fish area we're way up on the northwest end of the lake I believe it's called the Partridge River and uh, right up in front of me is the mouth of the river basically what we're fishing right away is a couple of specific spots that have trees in the water you got one up 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 easy 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 beautiful fish son it's a start Got to work them a little slow. I've got uh, Jay Swanson with me, and uh, he's doing great so far. We gave him a jig to tie on this morning, and he obviously knows what to do with it. So, should be a good time today. Oh, there you go. Two, a little better than two pounds. How's your morning going, Dwayne? Well, she's, uh, <laughs> you can tell by this little fish that she's, she's slow. But we're going to change that, get that first fish and get the skunk out of the boat's always uh, the initial trick. Oh yeah, the size we're looking for, but it took care of the skunk anyway. All right. Feels wonderful to get that first fish. It's always the first one and the last one that are the difficult ones to find. As long as it measures, we're going to be in good shape. <laughs> Lake Vermilion is one of Minnesota's premier bass fisheries. In fact, most of the anglers on the tour refer to it as 40,000 acres of bass fish in heaven. The challenge is, is these anglers have to decide where and when to fish and which fish are going to be the winning ones. Because not only does Lake Vermilion have an abundance of smallmouth bass, it also has largemouth bass. The anglers up in the shallow bays, the weed choked bays, those anglers are chasing the largemouth while other anglers have decided to go out onto the main lake and face that wind and that cold weather head on to see if the smallmouth are holding the winning weights. We'll have to wait and see for the weigh in. Day's going pretty good. We got uh, five fish in the boat right now, one real good one. Fishing up here on Black Lake, and uh, one of the reasons I came up here again is last year I had a real good day up here. I finished second up here last year, so hopefully we can get the rest of them. This is number seven. We're gonna probably just keep doing this. Look for some bigger fish to bite. We're southeast of Raspberry Island on a tiny little point that probably sticks out 20 yards. And literally dragging a crayfish type of bait, throw it up on the point and let it sit there. Another fish behind you, excuse me. Keep her on, buddy. Keep her pet. Oh, 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 come here, honey babes. Jeepers. Rip, rip, tear, rip, tear, rip, tear. Oh, hold on, Ron. Where are you, fish? No, I'm not seeing it yet. Ah, oh, I got it just. 
came unbuttoned. I don't know what happened. I was putting a little, maybe too much pressure on them here at the end and just came unstuck. So that's fishing. It's a good one. It feels down. Oh, is he still on? Yes. Now he'll measure. He's not on there. Yes. One at a time. You know, they all can't be three pounders. You gotta start somewhere. Oh, we got three fish in the boat, and that's a good thing. The Minnesota Pro Ambass Tour is sponsored by Northland Ford and KFAN Radio. Here in the Northland, horizon line stretch as far as the eye can see. And to get anywhere, you need a vehicle that'll prepare you for just about anything. That's why there's Ford Outfitters, with the most complete lineup of SUVs on the planet. From the Badlands to the Boundary Waters, Ford has the perfect SUV to equip you. Defy boundaries and get to your local Northland Ford dealer today. This is AM 1130. Hi, this is Captain Billy Hildebrand from Fan Outdoors. Billy's always got some good advice. I've learned a lot about uh, fishing, for sure, and, and hunting. I enjoy the uh, friendly banner going back and forth. I like to listen to them when fishing's on, fishing's great. When hunting's on, hunting's great. Join us Thursday evenings and Saturday mornings on your outdoor sports leader, KFAN. Welcome back to the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. It may be the end of June, but it certainly doesn't feel like it. All week long leading up to this event, the temperatures have been steadily dropping. In fact, today, tournament day, we wake up to a brisky 52 degrees. It's downright chilly out here. What's it going to do to the fish? Well, past experience has shown that when the temperatures cool like that in the middle of the summer, the fish become real lethargic. They lay down towards the bottom. Veteran angler behind us right now, Billy Hildebrandt, is anticipating just that move. What he's doing is a technique that we call dead sticking. He's throwing out a soft plastic bait and just letting it lie on the bottom. It's just going to lay there and wait for those fish to come by and lethargically pick it up off the bottom. Hopefully that's a winning technique for him. But I'll tell you what, Billy Hildebrandt has been around for a long time and a veteran angler, a lots of angling situations just like this. Let's take an up-close look at him on our Fox Sports Angler Profile. You are listening to Fan Outdoors. I'm Billy Hildebrand. Hey, we are really glad you're on board with us this evening. If you are a fan of the fan, then you're no doubt familiar with the long-running program Fan Outdoors with, among others, Captain Billy Hildebrand. He got his big break in talk radio when one of the original hosts was living a little outside the law. Well, the sheriff got wind that the program was going to go on and Steve might be there. Well, as the sheriff came in one side, Steve exited the other, and the show was about to go on the air. Pete Stevens looked at me and he says, you, Hildebrand, come here, sit down, you can talk. And that's how it started. The rest is, as they say, history. And history is precisely what Billy brings to the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. It began as the Silverado Crappie Contest. And at that time, we went out in pursuit of crappies. And then it grew from crappies to bass, and then along the lines it changed its name to what is now the Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour. And it's, it's really, it's the largest tournament event and tournament circuit in this part of the world. And it's really the best run too, and that's, that's why I fish it too. Fishing is in the Hildebrand bloodline. That's Billy's grandpa. And so on. My father, uh, always made time to involve me in, in what he liked to do and he was passionate about hunting and fishing. And Billy has instilled that same passion in his two boys. 13-year-old Chad fishes when he can, although other sports compete for his time. And Eric, who just graduated from high school, well, he's a regular chip off the old tackle box. 2902! Ladies and gentlemen, these are your 2003 Minnesota pro -Am. This is Eric's third season as an amateur angler, and let's just say Leech Lake has been betty betty good to Eric. I've taken a fourth place finish, and it was two years ago on Leech Lake also. And then this is my, my first first place finish, which is, it's huge. 
It was cool. Went over to him. He's standing on the trolling motor, and I says, Hey, buddy, did you get him? He says, We got him good, Dad. <laughs> Come on, if you had a 50,000 watt radio station, you'd brag too. And that praise goes both ways. Pretty much everything I've learned about fishing, I learned from my dad. Uh, caught my first fish when I was two, grew up on a boat. Um, been fishing since before I can remember. That's the Hildebrand way. That's where the outdoors is passed on. It's, it's passed on from parent to child, from young to old, from generation to generation. And I think that's really probably what makes it special. Well, we're way up in Norwegian Bay. I don't know if you can get much farther away from, from Fortune Bay now or not. We're all the way at the other end of the lake. You know, it's a little after nine. We've got our limit, but they're small. So now we're just hog hunting. We're looking for a couple good fish. We call them kicker fish to help us out a little bit. When I want to go hog hunting, look for a big fish, I'm going to throw a jig. Rule number one in tournament fishing, get a limit. On a day where anglers are facing very cool temperatures, high winds, and really sluggish fish, Leroy Ranstrom behind us right now just might have found the answer. Yeah, we slowed the presentation down real slow because of the weather. It's just uh, the wind seemed to change here in the last hour or so, just letting it, the, the bait sit out there for about a minute or two and picking it up and recasting it again. Give them a little chance to look at it. Caught a lot of fish, but the problem is most of them are small, and I got another one going with it right now. I'm up on the west end of the, uh, the lake right now fishing for largemouth bass. I'm going with a, a Pro Tour Baits uh, trick stick. It was sunny this morning and now look at it, it's been raining and it's going to rain for the rest of the day here. Well, it makes it a little more fun, a little interesting I guess. Uh, usually the fish bite a little better in the rain. my line out here and I decided to start the drain I better get my rain gear on. Definitely a benefit if you got the line in the water at all times. The fish come up and they actually look at the bait and then as soon as you pick it up and it, it moves a little bit and then they uh, that's when they attack it. Leroy I think we just picked up a hundredth of an ounce. That's good. We just had two fish right at the boat one right at the boat got off about three pounds and I just caught one it's probably two and a half pounds. It's just a little point that comes out full of rocks and stuff. When I'm casting out to where it runs out to about nine, ten feet. Just banging this crankbait off the rock. This is my first year as a pro. Last year I fished as an amateur. We have a good time just fish. Nice competition. Things go well and I stick with it. Someday I might be in the winter circle, you never know. <laughs> trying to get smallies all day and we finally gave up. We got four of them, but we got three like this. This is our nicest one. We're going to head across and we're going to try to get a big smallie. This really makes the team, huh? <laughs> oh. I'd say the best thing of all that keeps me coming back is, is the camaraderie with the fishermen. There's a lot of fun. Everybody's nice. You get to chum around with your buds and you're meeting new guys that have got the same interests. Have fun, be competitive. The day of the tournament, there's a lot of excitement. You know, the rocks, the fish, everything. This is my favorite tournament series by far. I just enjoy it. I just can't wait till the next tournament, you know. The Minnesota Pro Ambass Tour is sponsored by Media Rare and the Minnesota State Lottery. I got it. 
Yeah. to be here everybody likes you here but the people are great the casino is great we bet you'll love the lake vermilion area with so much to see and do hitch a ride on a mailboat yeah it's a great way to see the lake and mingle with the locals or take some time off the water to explore the nearby iron range where there's plenty of action happening above and below the ground whether you're shopping in nearby Ely or paddling Big Bay, a trip to Lake Vermilion is a guarantee. We're right in the mouth of Everett's Bay. We're small. We have uh, eight fairly nice fish in the well. What we don't have right at the moment is that one or two big kicker fish. Just keep the line in the water to the last minute, and hopefully you get a couple more quick bites. We're going to finish out the day hitting docks. Now we're going out on some of the rock points and bars and trying to get into some of those big three, four pound smallmouth. We had a little bit of a problem today with the hole in the boat. Uh, lake Vermilion is a Canadian shield lake. That means rocks pop up anywhere and everywhere. Came down off plane and a rock actually hit the uh, center line of the boat. We were fishing a buoy, but I was pretty far away from it. You almost have to assume at some point you're going to get bit. Fortunately, we've got a ranger boat that's uh, unsinkable. Last gap. Dave just picked one up on a crankbait. I think that's one of the few we caught on a crankbait all day, but that was a flip him in the boat deal there. Uh, Matt was tangled up on my seat. Not expecting much on the last couple casts. Everybody's coming in for weigh-in. They're coming in at Mach 10 through the narrows. The waves are rocking. You can't relax when you got a hole in your boat for five hours of the day. You just can't. The Minnesota Pro-Am Bass Tour is sponsored by Ranger Boats, Star Tribune, and Yamaha Motors. There is a place where people still care about real quality and innovation where ideas aren't limited to an eight-hour clock. Performance is measured by your total satisfaction, and attention to detail is a celebrated way of life. Welcome to the Ranger family. Real people, real commitments, and boats that are literally legendary. Discover Yamaha's VMAX Power when you want the best, choose Yamaha. of a job you don't like and into one you do star tribune working in the paper online in the mail and at events brace yourself for the yamaha v max lineup for 2003 featuring the hot new v max 250h pvi its next generation high pressure direct injection delivers the highest top speed of any bass engine yamaha's ever made an all-new lower unit design Keeps you flying straight as an arrow and farther on every gallon of fuel. Awesome power. Incredible control. The heart-pounding VMAX lineup from Yamaha. One of the most endangered natural habitats in Minnesota is our native lakeshore land. A well-manicured lawn that runs right to the shoreline causes more erosion and allows lawn fertilizers to flow into the lake. That can be prevented through native lakeshore landscaping or lakescaping. Lakescaping involves the creation of a buffer zone along the shoreline. A buffer zone is a natural strip of vegetation that extends both onto the land and into the water. Lakescaping for wildlife and water quality will allow you to live comfortably with a more natural lakeshore and healthier lake. Big 
Minnesota's best bass anglers face the most challenging conditions of the year today on Lake Vermilion. Rick Jansen, John Osberg, 16.08 pounds. Second place, pro angler Patrick Steele and his co-angler Brian Peterson with 17.09 pounds. And the true cream of the crop is pro angler Michael Bruno, his co-angler Roland Willis. They put it together for 19.34 pounds. Take home first place, a $10,000 check. Best of all, set a new record in Minnesota Pro Ambass Tour history with the largest fish ever, a 6.31 pound brute for Bruno. We're here with our Vermilion champions, and guys, our hats are off to you. Incredible field of anglers, and you pulled it off in some tough, tough conditions. 19 pounds of bass to take first place. What was the secret? How did you get these sluggish fish to bite? Well, we were uh, working the jungle jig from Northland Tackle Company with the Berkeley Power Craw, flipping it into pads and uh, the open pockets and the rice, and it was a lot of fun today. We caught a lot of fish. And well, obviously you chose the right pockets. First of all, we're filling their pockets. Ten thousand first place for pro. Two thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars first place co angler. And the greatest thing of all is, guys, you set a new record for the largest bass ever caught on the Minnesota Pro Am Bass Tour. It's bass like that that pay the bills, and bass like that that earn you first place on the Minnesota Pro Am Bass Tour. It gets nothing but better from here on out, and we look forward to seeing you at our next event on the Whitefish Chain. Boats provided by Crystal Piers Marine. Chiplier's Wardrobe provided by Carhartt and Irish Setter. Lodging and banquet facilities provided by Fortune Bay Resort Casino. The Minnesota Pro Ambassador is a production of Media Rare.